Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will see how to construct a simple mesh uh, for uh, a simple flow uh, between two parallel plates. Uh, the plates are uh, wavy, they follow a sinusoidal uh, pattern and they are isothermal at some specified temperature and the inlet flow is at a lower temperature than the plates. Um, to, to be uh, realistic, we will uh, actually to, to, to have uh, an easier job solving the, the fluid flow problem, we will have straight sections at the beginning, before and after the, the plate, uh, the wavy section. So we begin by constructing, we're going to follow the bottom up strategy of construction and geometry. Uh, we will create a first vertex here and we'll create a vertex at minus 2 and then we will create vertex at uh, 10, let's say 6 1, 2, 3, 4 Six, let's say six, and then another vertex at ten. Okay. So the this is a general view. The wavy section will start from zero to six, and the straight the exit straight section will be from six to ten, and then from minus two to zero is the inlet straight section, not wavy. Uh, to create the wavy section, first let's do the straight sections. So these are straight, and in between these, it's wavy. How to create the wavy section? We will create vertices at um, one. Two and three and four and five. Oops, it's forty five. Let's do five. We will copy these vertices and move them we want the plate to have an amplitude the waviness of the plate to have an amplitude of let's say point I mean 1.25 to from 1.25 down to 0.75 so we want this to be uh, to, to be wavy uh, one thing I should mention is that we'll model just half of the channel height the channel height is 1 so we'll model 0.5 in this direction with symmetry boundary condition along the top of the flow of the domain. So we'll select these now to form the wavy section. I'll show you how to do it. And we'll copy them and move them point 0, 0.5 in the x direction and minus 0.125 in the y direction and then get them again same group of nodes and copy them and move them in the positive y direction And then maybe get these two little nodes and move them minus 0.5 in the x direction. Uh, and then maybe minus, I think that's enough. Okay, let's focus on, the, on this section 
of the geometry and go to the line creating method um, and we'll see nerves here so it creates a sinusoidal type of surface so the channel will expand and then contract and then expand and then contract does that three times and finally expand and contracts and then it ends so when I right click I get a wavy section I've created all these extra nodes for, for just for speed so I will delete them okay and this will delete all of them and leaves me the first and last uh, nodes let me say before I go on I'll call it the wavy channel or wavy half channel and I'll accept this okay next I'll create the other vertices let me get all of it into view I will copy these nodes, this is the easiest way to do it. I will copy e these vertices 0.5 in the y direction to model half of the channel. Okay, so I have my channels, my, my the symmetry boundary at this point, at this location, and I go back to the straight section and I create parallel plates actually parallel symmetry line and in this direction and I want to mesh these separately okay. last thing I'll do in the geometry in this section is create the uh, faces from the wireframe and now I have my faces okay to mesh this domain I go to the meshing tool to mesh the edge I want these to be I have all the same direction I want to uh, have the first length to be 0 0.01 that's one centimeter if I'm working dimensionally uh, the interval size the interval count I'll specify it this way uh, is maybe 30 or something like that um, for these and these two I'll have an interval size of 0 .0, 0 0.1 actually. That's one centimeter, and I'll have the uh, I'll have it uniform. Okay, I'll remove this interval size 0 0.1. Okay, now now it's a tricky part. I want the same number of intervals for the bottom and top of this section. Uh, so that I can do a, a, a mapped quad uh, type of mesh for the set for the face so I will select this wavy section and I'll say I want a hundred nodes it's too many it's a too much let's say I want 80 nodes Actually, a better way to do it is to select this and say I want the interval size to be the same as the rest of them that's 0.1 and then shift it before I click apply I shift it to interval count 60 so I'll say 60 here okay when I reset and choose 60 
here table size 0.1 change to interval count Sixty sound sound okay I guess. Let's do eighty just in case. And here it's eighty. And that's it. Okay. Uh, when I mesh the face, I want all of them to be quad mapped. And the last one, we look at the mesh, at the interface between those, these two uh, meshes, these two faces, and you notice it's nice and smooth. Okay, last thing I'll do, uh, let me save. Last thing I do is to apply the boundary condition. Boundary conditions are real easy. I'll say I'll select these, the top ones, and we'll have them assigned a symmetry type of boundary condition. Apply, and then the velocity inlet, and then a pressure outlet. There we go, and then I'll assign wall boundary condition to these lower sections separately. I'll call this lower wall and then uh, a wavy section uh, middle section and then the the uh, uh, trailing section. Actually, they're all lower walls, so I'll change this to rename this to leading edge. So you have a leading edge, middle section, and then a wavy edge. Uh, it's all fluid by default, so I don't need to assign fluid type. I'll save it. I'll export the mesh. Click 2D mesh and accept. And that concludes our mesh construction tutorial for this uh, slaminer case. Really.